everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Bucker Designs. I've got a fun little 3D treat bag for you. Um, this features our new peekaboo treat bags. These come in a pack that include the craft and the white. We're using the craft today. Um, I'm also using the Elephant Parade stamp set, which I'm featuring on my blog this week. And I have a little sneak peek from the upcoming holiday catalog, the Celebrations Tags dies. We're going to use this one right here. I really like these. I think that these are really useful. They've got um, other dies for all occasions. You've got winter, you've got hearts, you've got balloons, you've got candles. So you could use these tags for lots of things. So that's what we're going to use. Um, we're also going to do some embossing with our Fern 3D embossing folder. Um, so what's inside my little bag? Well, they are butter toffee peanuts. Delicious and addictive, I must tell you. I will have a link for these on my blog if you're looking for them. Um, be careful because if you start eating them, it's very difficult to stop eating them. All right, let's start by doing our stamping. And then we're going to bring our cut and emboss machine over and do lots of cutting. We are going to stamp our elephant, our little elephant, and our little mouse. Okay, we're gonna stamp them in memento black on thick white cardstock. And we're gonna use just um, Smoky Slate Stampin' Blends to color. I'm gonna start with the back of my elephant. I like to work just in sections because I'm gonna add a little bit of shading and I don't want my ink to dry out before I am done with my shading. So I'm just gonna work in this section like this, and then I'm gonna take my dark and I'm gonna add a shadow which would be behind his ear and below his head. And this little back leg would be darker and this one would have a little bit of shadow on it too. Now take your light Stampin' Blend and drag that color down so that it blends into the rest of his body, okay? Now I'm gonna go back with my light and I'm gonna just do his, his head. Now his head is gonna be lighter than the back of his body. I'm gonna think that the sun or the light would be shining down from the top. So I'm gonna add color here, but I'm just gonna kind of flick light color as we get towards the middle of his head and then we'll blend it together with our um, color lifter. All right, so flick all that color and then take your color lifter and just kind of blend that. It'll all kind of bleed together and look like kind of like a shine. All right, now I'm gonna do a little bit of color here on the edge of his ears like that. And take my light petal pink and color in those ears. I like to give them a little bit of little cheek circle right there. All right, now for our little mouse, he's not going to need a whole lot of, of um, shadows or shading because it's just so small. And I like to just kind of dot, dot, dot the marker, the bullet tip end of my marker in those really skinny places like his arms and his legs. Okay. I'm gonna just dot, dot, dot. Again, I think I'll take my collar lifter there in the middle of his face and just kind of blend all that together. Take my light petal pink and I'm just gonna dot, dot, dot in his ears. Here we go. Okay, so now let's bring over our cut and emboss machine. Let's do our die cutting first. Um, we're going to take our elephant dies right here and we'll cut that out and get it lined up perfectly and the little mouse. Now the little mouse has a dot right there where his tail is. Make sure that you wiggle it around until you see that dot show up in that little hole there. That way you'll know it's lined up perfectly. All right, now I've got a piece of Design a Daydream designer series paper. I'm gonna cut a heart from it using those celebration tags. 
a die from the celebration tags. All right, very carefully lay that down and run it through. All right, let me make this a little bit less of a mess and now we're gonna cut out that tag. Yeah, we're gonna use this one right here and we are gonna cut out a tag from a soft sea, sea spray. No, soft, what is this color called? Soft sea foam. All right, now we're gonna cut that tag out of soft sea foam cardstock. Let's run it through. And I want to emboss it with the fern embossing folder. So to do that, you've got to take off these two plates and we're going to use this plate on top. So take your, your tag and put it in there like that and we'll run it through. There we go, beautiful. All right, now let's fold that back in half. I also want to emboss this bag. And what I found, you'll see in my sample, I put the whole bag in the embossing folder. And after that, it wouldn't close right. So what I'm gonna do this time is I'm gonna run it through twice, leaving that little clo uh, closure part right there sticking out. Okay, so we'll run it through. And then if you want that top part embossed, you're gonna we're gonna run it like this. Again, leaving that little zipper part out of the embossing folder. Because we definitely need this bag to close or our peanuts are gonna go everywhere. There we go. Beautiful. All right, let's put our little butter toffee peanuts in here. Let's see if I can pour these in here without making a mess. It doesn't take too many to fill up the bag. Okay, there we go. And I'm gonna take my ribbon this is let me tell you the right name petal pink soft polyester ribbon and it is very soft i like the way it feels all right so i'm just going to tie this around below that little zipper closure like that okay and we'll cut these off at an angle And you can kind of adjust it, make it pretty. Now let's put our tag together. You're gonna want some dimensionals. And we're gonna start with that little heart. And we'll put that right there. And then our elephant. Like that. Let's do a little bit higher. And then our cute little mouse, he's gonna be standing on the elephant's back, like that. And then I have cut out a petal pink stitched rectangle, and we're gonna stamp the What a Happy Day kind of on the right side. Let's see if I can get this straight. In memento black. And we'll put a couple dimensionals right on each end and put that right under our elephant's feet like that all right now one more thing we're going to add to this tag to just make it extra cute 
I've got some of our heart pearls. If you haven't seen these in the catalog, you need to look them up. They are so stinking cute. They're pearls in the shape of hearts. All right, last but not least, I'm going to take just some basic white twine, run it through here, and tie this to the heart. And there you have it. How cute are these? These would make great party favors. Um, thinking of you, just, just any kind of celebration. Just really, really cute. All right, now don't forget to click the link here on YouTube to go back over to my blog. Check out the free PDF that I have for you, as well as the two other elephant parade projects. And please make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.